You never welch on a butt then, you be a man. Drink it. You go to bed. When it comes to parenting, these guys are completely hopeless. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cartoon dads you're glad aren't yours. What hope can a mere child have of defeating her all powerful father? For this list, make no mistake, while our cartoon dads from TV list focused on iconic fathers, this time around, we will highlight the ones you're glad aren't raising you. Who wants cake? Well, the cake does look good. <laughs> it's made out of cardboard. Number 10, Trigon the Terrible, Teen Titans. I'm a portal. But Raven, why you? Because Trigon is my father. While some people can say they have bad fathers, not everyone can relate to one that threatened the fate of the universe. You were born so I could rule the Earth. What if I don't let you? What if I don't become the portal? It is not your place to tell me what to do. Later on in this animated series, it's revealed that Trigon is the real father of Teen Titan member Raven. And it's safe to say they haven't seen eye to eye on a majority of issues ever since she was born. You may think it wise to attack me when I gather my strength. But as you can see, not even a farewell blessing from my daughter can help you be gone. The omnipotent Demon King possesses absolutely no empathy and seeks to conquer Earth in spite of his own daughter's vow to protect it. Perhaps the only thing Raven inherited from dear old dad is his powerful demonic power, which also prevents him from besting her in combat. May have created me. But you were never my father. Number 9. Robert Big Bob Pataki, Hey Arnold. Bravo! Bravo! The king of Big Bob's beepers has two daughters. However, the way that he raves about his eldest child would lead most to believe he only has one. And that's when I won the Lunch Drama Award. Always a winner, just like I taught her. When not absorbed in his chain of beeper emporiums, Big Bob can be seen blatantly favoring Olga over his younger and lesser achieving daughter Helga. Maybe you'll have a chance to bond with Helga like you have with Olga. Bond with Helga? This has resulted in Helga adopting a rebellious and even resentful attitude toward her father and has also driven a wedge between her and her big sister. Olga, Olga, Olga. So she's beautiful and brilliant and popular. Big deal. Number 8. Mr. Krabs, SpongeBob SquarePants. I had so many new ideas. I can smell the money already. Most dads couldn't put a price on the happiness of their daughters, but this crustacean isn't like most dads. Which one of you lucky lovers wants to take me lovely daughter Pearl to the prom? There happens to be nothing in the seven seas that Mr. Krabs enjoys more than money, which can often pose a problem to Pearl. You've ruined all my birthday parties, but you better not ruin this one. Now promise me you won't be cheap. <clears throat> I promise. Despite the fact that she's his one and only daughter, Mr. Krabs can't bring himself to sacrifice a dime for her and will obtain the crudest substitute for her many requests. Here, take SpongeBob! Ah, the fry cook! Do you know what that would do to my complexion? People will mistake me for a planetarium! But as the owner of the Krusty Krab is also unable to see Pearl disappointed, Mr. Krabs will often send his own employees as scapegoats in attempts to take the heat off of him. While I plan the party, I want you to buy Pearl's present. Here you go, boy. Number 7. Randy Marsh, South Park. What are you doing, Dad? Stanley, I think it's best you live with Kyle from now on. His dad is better than me. You don't get to be this father's age without learning a thing or two about being a good dad. Or how to at least try and fail at it completely. Randy, I can't get my email to open. Everyone, just, just calm down! Calm down, all right? It's going to be okay. We just can't... Panic! Randy's higher education in geology would lead most to believe he's an insightful fellow. However, his alcoholism, among his many other addictions, has turned him into the town idiot. Sorry, pal, but Obama's president now! Obama! 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 Stan and Shelley, Randy's two children, often get fed up with their father's half-baked schemes, but are usually too sympathetic to call him out on them. Is it for what? 
arresting me for what? I'm not allowed to stand up for myself? I thought this was America, huh? Isn't this America? Number six, Homer Simpson, The Simpsons. Dad, I admit I have some problems, but drugs aren't the answer. Well, you little- ah! Unfortunately for this cartoon, Dad, you don't get an A for simply showing up. Looks like you lost the patient, Doc. Shut up, boy. Homer can be described as a very simple man with a less than stellar childhood, which he often cites as the cause for his own poor parenting skills. I'm so glad you're here. Bart's really acting funny. Ray J funny or OJ funny? When he's not at work or sitting on the couch with a cold one, he is incredibly lost when trying to effectively communicate with his kids. Son, let's forget all about that drug thing. Why don't you just come down and have some taffy? Nice try, Homer. Homer often employs harsh disciplinary actions against his misfit of a son, Bart. He's in no way supportive of his daughter Lisa's mental gifts, and we're still not sure if he even knows of his infant Maggie's existence. Uh, did you hear that? She said burlap. Number five, Martin, Adventure Time. Dude, I found out my human dad is still alive. Whoa, what? Being separated from your father at birth can be tough, but it can be even tougher once you find out why. Finn's your son. He came a long way to meet you. Son? Oh, hey, good for you, kid. With his true father's identity a mystery to him for most of his life, Finn finally receives the opportunity to rescue Martin Mertens from the Citadel. You must go to the Citadel. That's where your father is. Joshua's not alive. Me and Jake buried him behind the- Not Joshua. Your other dad, dad the human. What? However, upon coming face to face with his long lost son, Martin displays no signs of happiness. Though he does show plenty of signs of relief about escaping. And a boy, Flynn! Do it for your old man! A truly selfish and uncaring guy, the truth is soon revealed. Martin never lost Finn to begin with. He actually abandoned him in the woods, after which his son was later found and raised by Joshua who pushed Finn and his adoptive brother Jake to fight when they needed to. It was a long time ago. Who knows, like, maybe you left me. <sighs> but hey, daddy's back! Number four, Sterling Archer, Archer. Who is that? Why, this is Seamus Magoon. Ster no, Seamus Sterling what? Magoon. Archer. Why is that who named like me? Why do you think? I'm asking you why. Because he's your son. No. You colossal <laughs> idiot. International spies often don't receive Dad of the Year awards, and Sterling Mallory Archer is proof of this. Woo. Wow, Trinette, that was amazing. Yeah, well, you know. Wait, what? Wait a minute. You liar. This ain't a condom wrapper. It's from a freaking candy bar. So? Sometimes I like to treat myself. Well, sometimes I like to ovulate. Well, I gotta sleep, so do it somewhere else. Money's on the dresser. After going to great lengths to avoid custody of an illegitimate child, Archer soon finds himself attached to the wee baby Seamus, who is later revealed to not have even been his to begin with. Due to his basically parentless childhood, Archer's ideas on how to raise a child are a bit skewed, as he treats the baby as one of his best buds rather than a son. Despite Seamus still being in infancy, Archer finds little to nothing wrong with getting his son a tattoo or even feeding him alcohol. Oh, right? You can't tattoo a freaking baby! That's what the tattoo guy said. Number three, Dr. Thaddeus S. Rusty Venture, the Venture Brothers. Boys, for the last time, stop. Brock is trying to drive. Going on adventures across the world as a super scientist can be fun but it doesn't necessarily make for a safe and productive environment if you're traveling with your twin boys. Okay, Hank, you were taking this way too well. Well, gee, Dad, we've seen a lot of strange stuff over the years. Last week we were fighting a giant dinosaur. Granted, but I wasn't the dinosaur. Can't you see where this is maybe different? Unable to escape the long shadow cast by his father, Dr. Jonas Venture, Rusty engulfs himself in his scientific research. Look, if you have a clumsy child, you make him wear a helmet. If you have death-prone children, you keep a few clones of them in your lab. Speak of the devils! Their half-formed ears must be burning. He neglects his two sons, Hank and Dean, much like his father did to him. Dr. Venture's ability to replace his sons after they've died contributes to his apathy towards them, with his lack of supervision often resulting in their deaths. <laughs> Number two, the Fire Lord Ozai, 
Avatar The Last Airbender. Dad's going to kill you. Really? He is. Ha ha, Azula. Nice try. Fine, don't believe me, but I heard everything. There's tough love, and then there's just being a horrible father. Rise and fight, Prince Zuko. I won't fight you. You will learn respect, and suffering will be your teacher. Ozai subjected both his son Zuko and daughter Azula to a cruel and harsh upbringing in the hopes that one of them would one day succeed him as Fire Lord. You have been away for a long time. I can see the weight of your travels has changed you. You have redeemed yourself, my son. As Azula harbored some of the same sadistic properties as her father, she soon became highly favored, while Zuko became horribly disfigured and was banished from the Fire Clan. Azula would soon recognize the evil in her father's ways, though, as his lack of compassion or approval later caused her to go completely mad. You miscalculated! You should have feared me more! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. What happened here? Uh, I melted your trophy with heat vision? Where did you get heat vision? Internet? Oh, he's good. I won this trophy 30 years ago when I was your age, and you melted it. I'm so mad. I come here to make peace, and you kamikaze me? That's it. I redeclare war on Japan. Dad, ah! no. I'm sorry, he's probably not used to drinking so much tea. What the hell you know about romance, Clarissa? You been with, what, five women your whole life? I pleasured over 500 ladies in my time. And one guy. I can't believe you chose a life of crime over the most precious jewel of all, a son's love. Ooh, hold on a second. Hello, French Riviera? Yes, can I buy a chateau with my son's love? Yes, yes, we all know the bit. Sorry, Dad, it was an accident! There are no accidents! <laughs> You've done nothing but whine like a lady in a flowery sissy skirt and attractive high heels about my drinking since we got here! Number one. Peter Griffin, Family Guy. I just hate being around the kids. What? If a grown man must regularly be fathered himself, it's safe to say he shouldn't have any kids of his own. I got a makeover, Dad! Don't I look great? Oh, Meg, honey, I always thought you were beautiful just the way you... <laughs> oh, 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 God! Couldn't do that with a straight face. <laughs> oh, 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 welcome to the family, sweetheart. Chris, go burn all Meg's old pictures. Peter's incompetence may only be matched by his carelessness, making his own wife untrusting of his supervision over her kids. Tell you what, I'll get us started. Ah, that feels... that feels better. You sure that stuff is okay? All I know is the guys who made it are dead. Unlike his father-in-law, Carter Pewterschmidt, Peter doesn't have the means to buy his children's affection, and is even admitted to not having any interest in them. Don't you just sometimes wish they'd run away or get kidnapped and be made to work in a Temple of Doom? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. How can you even say that? Whenever he isn't ignoring his kids, Peter is regularly seen tormenting or insulting them, which is a fate that more often than not falls on his least favorite, Meg. You can't give up sex, you've got a responsibility. You see, Meg, you're what they call a practice girl. Do you agree with our list? <sighs> well, the welcome mat's out. Let's see who comes to knock and... What cartoon dad do you think is the worst? Bolt smart! Bolt sneer! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Well, how was I, coach? Brilliant! Stunning! Captivating! Ooh! For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Up your... Yeah, take that! Dude, that's my dad! Oh, yeah, sorry.